talking about cosmetic surgery. The cosmetic surgery is a surgery which helps in improve the shape and normal structure of the body, which in turn ameliorates self-esteem and self-appearance. This type of surgery can be done. It can be done both non-surgically or surgically. So most of the facial uh, part of the surgery can be done uh, non-surgical and and uh, other mode of uh, non-surgical types. So, for example, facial regeneration. As we know, as the decade goes by, years from 20 to around 60 years of the age, there's a lot of uh, evolution take place in the facial appearance of the of an each individual. Basically, starting from the skin to underlying structure, this is the, nothing but the muscle or the bone. Then each decade, you will see the uh, the changes appearing on the on the facial appearance. Basically, when you see at the age of 20 years, there will be youthful appearance of the skin of the normal 20 year of individual. It's glowing skin uh, with the facial counter, good facial counter with good jawline. As the age advances, around 30 decade or 40 decade, the, the changes appearance in the skin and the tone of the facial structure. The skin is an ideal which can be uh, manual, which can be treated by non-surgical types. The second part of the of the uh, surgical part of the uh, facial rejuvenation is to the soft tissue injuries which uh, take place during the evolution. Uh, because of the major hormonal changes, there are uh, shift in the balance of the elasticity and the tone and the bone complexion of the of an individual as the age advances. So the common uh, uh, facial regeneration procedure we see at the uh, at the age of 40 or 50, 60, the there will be a brow lift on the brow sagging, the eyelid sagging, the cheek sagging, the, the hollowness of the cheek, and uh, we term called the jaws that the underlying uh, skin of the around the neck and the jawline gets dropped off. So that are the individuals which can be targeted by facial rejuvenation or the facial rejuvenation surgery. For example, if the problem is in the brow, brow lines or any wrinkles around the uh, eyelid or the uh, or the eyebrows are uh, pushed downwards, so you have to lift the eyebrows. There's the procedure is called as brow lift, as the same principle is for the around the eyes. So whenever there is an excess uh, saggy eyelids, just above the eyelids or the, on the lower eyelid, you call it the procedure called as bluff, blepharoplasty. So what you do is you have to tighten the skin and to look the younger uh, skin look very younger to their to their natural appearance. Whenever the uh, same things, uh, same jaw lines you see in around the jaw line. That is nothing but the sagging around the uh, jawline and the neck. We do a called procedure called as facelift. So what we do is we are we just uh, place an uh, incision around the around the ears so that uh, the scar is minimal. So what you do is we have to after opening the skin we will tighten the facial structures that in nothing but the muscles and the and the uh, uh, facial ligaments that has to be tightened and will close the wound and to give a youthful appearance of the skin and the skin tone of the face is uh, as younger as uh, as the patient needs. Mm -hmm.